some reason, I watched uh, the first two Transformers movies when they came out and then abandoned the, the franchise because I, I guess it's because it, 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 at that point, it's like, why, why keep watching? And that's kind of what I felt like watching this one uh, over the last. I, it took me three days to watch it because it's a two and a half hour movie. Uh, I, I just finished it before we, we started uh, recording here. And the, the frustrating thing. So this thing is it's directed by Michael Bay. This is the last one that Shia LaBeouf is in as Sam Witwicky. Uh, Megan Fox is left at this point. Uh, for some reason, we're supposed to believe that um, that Megan Fox breaks up with the nerdy Shia LaBeouf. And instead, as the replacement, he gets a uh, Victoria's Secret model, Rosie Huntington Whiteley, as his new girlfriend. And uh, that has already advanced to the point that Megan Fox's relationship with him had been at in the previous movies. Anyways, um, the sad part is the Transformers universe has some really cool, rich storylines and great characters. And they bring about some of that in these movies. So Dark of the Moon, uh, they they discover that there was a one of their one of the the Autobots had a uh, had a spacecraft crash on the moon. Uh, and on the back side of the moon, on the dark side of the moon, um, like or like in the 60s or something. And the whole reason we went to the moon was to investigate this crash site. And they even have a cameo from Buzz Aldrin talking about how he went to the moon to look at this Autobots crash site and well, not of course to they do. Of course they do. Yeah. So like like real life now, present day Buzz Aldrin is in this movie. Um and uh, and it turns out this was like a, a last ditch effort to try and save uh, the Autobots fight against the Decepticons to over their planet. And it crashed on its way out. So it didn't uh, survive. But Optimus Prime brings back Sentinel Prime, who is was one of their greatest warriors who ends up betraying them. And then it becomes this whole this whole thing. Uh, it's kind of a cool story. But it's way too long. It's way too bloated. It's way too overblown. And it's get and it got to the point where it's like, I don't care anymore. If you want me to care, actually make it a decent, a decent length. Like this, there's no reason this needs to be two and a half hours long. The crazy part, too, is this is at the time when Transformers was like at its height. It was making Shia LaBeouf a star. Um, and the cast for this movie is insane. So you've got Shia LaBeouf. And you've got Tyrese, you know, doing basically what he does in Fast and the Furious. Uh, he, there's even a moment where he's like, he had like quit. And then he's like, going to get back into the game. And he assembles his old team together. It's like, family's everything. You know, and it comes up over and over again. Josh DeHommel's in this again. John Turturro's in it. Patrick Dempsey, Francis McDormand, John Malkovich are in these movies, or in this one. I mean, it, this is like the most like anti Francis McDormand movie I've ever seen Francis McDormand in. And there's this whole like subplot of how John Turturro is secretly in love with Francis McDormand, which is hilarious. It's the best part of the movie. Um, she plays like the director of the CIA. Anyways, I'm giving it two stars. It's a cool concept. It was way too long, way too overbloated. Uh, what was really funny is some of the creatures and some of the like things that were going on kind of felt like uh, the first Avengers movie which came out like a year or two later, but they did it well. And this just is ridiculous. So two stars for dark of the moon. I can't really I, differentiate between some of them. Is this the one where Shia LaBeouf like kicks the shit out of that yellow car? Or is that the second one? Kicks the shit out of a yellow car. Maybe it's the second one then. I don't know. <laughs> Are you talking about Bumblebee? Well, well Bumblebee is his car. But Bumblebee has to go work on other stuff, so he has a different yellow car. And it is kind of a mess, and he... I don't know. I don't know which part you're talking about, though. Okay. So, yeah, it's probably a different one. I, so I, I can't... Yeah, they all blend together in my eyes. I don't they, have they, any other I like that that scene somehow made an impact on you, Todd. Shia LaBeouf <laughs> eating the shit out of his yellow car. Well, yeah, I mean, that was, like, my favorite part of those movies because Shia LaBeouf is, like, pissed off. Where he gets to a certain point, and, like, he's just pissed off for the rest of the movies that he did. Shia LaBeouf is always pissed off in any movie he's in. It's true. It's true. 